Hi everyone, Liz Dahlia here, aka the Queen of Hearts. Welcome to my channel, especially those of you who are new. Today we are checking out The Last of Us Season 1, Episode 4. Honestly, given how every other episode has gone this season, I am preparing myself for tears. The first episode, Joel lost his daughter. The second episode, Joel lost Tess. Third episode, Joel lost probably some of the few friends he has in the world. And so I'm preparing to brace myself for who Joel is going to lose next. Thinking back on the first episode and the third, we had... 80s music being played at the end of the first episode. Now, when we watched the last one, uh, it was established that Frank and Bill were the ones who set up that code of playing music over the radio with Tess. That was something that Frank and Tess came up with, which is honestly genius. It's a way to be able to speak privately and nobody's going to know what's going on. So that's kind of like really clever. But we don't actually know whether or not that music came from Frank and Bill. Could that signal that we got in the first episode of There is Trouble Here, could that in fact be somebody else? Are we just, are we meant to assume that it was coming from Frank and Bill and it was actually coming somewhere else and he's going to go somewhere trying to get help from more people that he knows and then they'll be like, why did you come here? I sent you a signal telling you that we had trouble. Why are you here? Are we going to have that kind of scenario? Don't tell me the answer if you've seen the whole season. I, I want to wait and see if it's something that they address over the course of of the season but if they don't please like I, I want some sort of speculation because it's actually driving me a little crazy <laughs> not knowing if that music came from them like the food on the plate the leftovers from dinner and stuff that looked like it had been there a while and the amount of dust that had accumulated had been there a while so I feel like the signal probably may not have been from them I believe he, he said something about that it was it was programmed to send a signal if nobody pressed a thing within a certain time frame so maybe it could have been them but yeah just something about that doesn't feel like it may have been them so that means it could have been somebody else. There could be another player out there and going on. And I'm, I, I honestly don't know. I'm just speculating at this moment. I'm just throwing things out there. That last episode was like utterly brutal. It oh, tore me to pieces and was absolutely heart wrenching. So I'm, I'm bracing myself for what's to come if you're interested in a full length watch along i do a full length reactions i do offer them over on my patreon they are in a watch along style format so you do need your own copy in order to follow along but if that is something that interests you the link is in the description below i do also offer try before you buy which means that the first episode of every season or series is available for free to be watching so the first episode of the last of us is available for free to to check out um so yeah if you're interested the link is down below if you could also while you're down there like the video let me know that you enjoy the content that you're seeing subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell and select all so you don't miss out on any of my videos let's bring up the good old heart rate monitor for anybody who is new to my channel, I do a heart rate monitor through my Apple Watch. That way you guys get to see what moments get my heart pumping. Have there always been two people standing there at the end like that? And I've just not noticed? <coughs> Go ahead. Make my day. I'm very curious how she knows how to use that. Like, would they have trained her? I doubt there would be enough weapons for everybody to be trained in how to use a weapon. So how does she know how to do all of that? Seems a little weird. 
Gas breaks down over time. Back in the day, we'd drive 10, 12 hours on one tank. So where'd you go? Pretty much nowhere. <laughs> what did the mermaid wear to her math class? <laughs> An algae bra. <laughs> Dude, this is so cute. I a ball all night. No. Wonder where the sun went. And then it dawned on me. Feel free to wait in the truck. Uh, okay, but just know you can't escape Will Livingston. He'll be back. Nothing you can do to stop him. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> that was great. Got something else. Uh, light on the reading, but it has some interesting pictures. Oh, no, no, no. What's <laughs> wrong with that thing? Please get rid of it. Hold your horses. I <laughs> want to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Why are all these pages stuck together? Uh... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. do shots like this like obviously a lot of cgi and stuff but in some circumstances do they do things practically like putting all the foliage and stuff are there lots and stuff on various studios that is just set for post-apocalyptic worlds because there's so many of these things that exist are some of these things like being used from shows that, like the walking dead or whatever Not, it can't all be CGI. That'd be hugely expensive. You'd think. Where are you going? Just off the road. Hide in the bush. I mean, the likelihood of people being out on the road is pretty slim, but there is raiders and stuff. That seems to still be a thing. So can we start a fire? I'm freezing. Now why am I going to tell you no? People? So he's kind of, he's doing it in a rough way, but he's educating her. He's like, why am I going to say no? He's like, not just I'm saying no, but why? Think. Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. Why did the scarecrow get an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> you dick. Did you read this? No. <laughs> go to sleep. Ah, oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Dad joke for the win. Oh, what the fuck is that? You don't like coffee? <laughs> that is, um, a lot of coffee. I mean, he did stay up all night, so I can see why he would need that much coffee, but still, that's a lot. It smells like burnt shit. <laughs> I'm enjoying their banter. What's his name? Whose name? Your brother. Tommy. Why isn't he with you? It's a long story. Is it longer than 25 hours? Because that's what we got. <laughs> Alright, are we now going to get a flashback on what happened? You got it pretty early if you want to grab more sleep. I'm not even tired. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. I'm terrible on long car trips. I fall asleep so fast. Something sus. I'm very sus right now. Stay put. Okay, I had a prediction at the end of the last episode about whether or not he's going to be a little bit better with her and the whole gun situation. If she has to get him out of a problem because she has the gun hidden. So I'm wondering if something like that is going to happen. So far, every time it's been no guns. And I get why. And there was a few comments that people made about like why he would not be okay with her having a gun which I, I 
can see their points and I can agree with. Um, but I'm also wondering, at some point, I feel like he's going to kind of train her. Um, and I'm wondering whether or not he's going to be more okay with her and doing that if she has to save his butt. We can jog right around this tunnel. Take the next ramp. And we're back on the road minute tops. I feel like you're dri you're right driving right into a trap. I bet you. I can't tell from this. I'm all turned around. Well, don't look at the state map. Look at the inside. Well, I don't know where we are in that either. This is my second day in a fucking car, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're heading north. Oh god. Oh god. There's t oh. Go! Shit. Yep, I knew it was a trap. You see that hole? I can squeeze through. You don't come out until I say, okay? Oh shit. I knew this felt like a trap. You're not gonna hit Ellie, don't you fucking dare, girl. For once, do as you're told. Don't say a word. Keep quiet. She's gonna get her gun out. I told you, I said it! Is she gonna save his life? Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a lot different when they're still a person. She saved for your life, dude. Behind the wall. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please, please. We could just talk. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, please. Oh, God. God, that was hard. I get why they did what they did, but still. It has to stop. Why does it stop now, you mean? Now that you're in the cell. Hmm. I mean, I don't know the situation here, but the logic of the argument. I never told them anything about your brother. But Henry did. And we know that he's still in the city. And I think that you know that too. I don't know who... This is a what the relationship is, but it's very intri intriguing. Better that's his mother. Who did this? We think it was outsiders. This is Henry's work. Understand? And he won't stop until we stop him. Who the hell is Henry? Are you okay? I'm all right. You didn't seem all right. Are you all right? I mean, you shot a person, he killed a person. Again. The thing is, is, I didn't hear that guy coming. He shouldn't have had to. Okay. All right. So he feels bad about that. You're just a kid. You shouldn't know what it means to. I know what it's like. First time that you hurt someone like that. She stabbed someone in the, like, gut before. Or leg or whatever. First episode. I'm not good at this. Yeah, you really aren't. I mean, it was my fault. You shouldn't have had to. Um, okay, so I feel like that's been part of the reason... I'm sorry. ...why he said no guns to her. That makes more sense. I mean, I know he's very untrusting and that's absolutely part of it, but... I'm glad that it's coming more from that, that she's a kid and she shouldn't have to. It makes me feel a little better. It wasn't my first time. Show me your grit. 
he, now he's gonna start teaching you. Okay. See? Trigger. Now who taught you that? Fedra school. Figures. So that's how she learned how to do a gun. Okay. Over your thumb. Left hand. Squeezes down on the right. Got it? Okay. See? Okay. okay. So he didn't teach her before because she was a kid and she shouldn't have to. But now that she's having to, he's willing to show her. Okay. Uh-uh. You put it in your pack. You shoot your damn ass off. <laughs> <laughs> but still, that's a, that was a nice moment. Why is it in your pocket? Why did you ever listen? We'll get through this. I know. It's going to be rough, though. There's a big crater. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Fuck. What the fuck was that? When do we tell the others? We don't? Not yet. Okay. What the fuck yeah. was that? Okay, I'm in. Take a look around first. Ellie. God damn it. You literally tell her to take a look around. You me without me, huh? Why well, now, Wyoming? <laughs> <laughs> God, I love that. The banter is really good. Great casting with these two. Hey, you know that guy who said he was hurt? How do you know it was an ambush? Because it's always an ambush. I've been on both sides. It was a long time ago we did what we needed to survive. So you've ambushed people and you've been ambushed. Did you? Come on. Give me a minute. Get up, you lazy ass. <laughs> 56 years old, you little shit. <laughs> and Joe! You, you them coming. What? What are you doing? I don't know someone's sneaking up on us while we're sleeping. Are you sure you're gonna hear it? But now he's scared. I wonder if he's now gonna be so paranoid about not hearing it. He won't sleep, which means that'll be two nights in a row that he won't sleep. He's not gonna be able to sleep. Fuck. When we were talking about hurting people, what did you mean it wasn't your first time? I don't want to talk about it. He's not going to leave it at that. It isn't fair. Your age. Having to deal with all of this. So it gets easier when you get older? No. You just have no, to deal with more not shit. Really. But still. And different shit. Did you know diarrhea is hereditary? <laughs> what? Yeah. It runs in your genes. <laughs> that is so goddamn stupid. <laughs> yes, you did. Jesus, I'm losing it. You're losing it big time. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's nice to have some levity with all the doom and gloom that's been going on with all these episodes. Are we finally getting some sleep? Good. Oh, God, we're going to hit gr glass, aren't we? Shit. Joel. No? Okay. Joel. I was like, we're going to... Oh. Huh. 
Henry and Sam. Okay. That is obviously Henry and Sam. My bet is what is going on is that Henry was forced to reveal where Kathleen, Catherine, Kathleen's sis, uh, brother was. Otherwise, they would probably threaten to do something to his, I'm guessing, little brother. Um, and so he turned him in. Brother ends up getting beaten to death in the cell. And sister then decides to rally up all the troops. We've had the end of it takes out all the Fedra people and is then hunting down the person who turned her brother in. So I'm guessing that's that whole storyline there. That's going to be a very interesting story come next episode. This episode, though, thank God there was nothing that Joel didn't lose a person. We didn't find out, like, anything bad about Tommy yet. The banter between Ellie and Joel, mwah. Absolutely brilliant. Loved all of it. I love that he's warming up to her. I love that she's like rubbing off on him, that he's sort of like relaxing a little bit around her and that he's reasoning behind why he wouldn't, he was saying no to guns before and all that it wasn't entirely from a place of not trusting her. I think once he had promised Tess that he would take care of Ellie and he would take Ellie to where they need to go then in his mindset it was the, the trust was no longer a problem and so therefore it was she shouldn't have to protect herself I'm here I'm gonna do that she shouldn't need to she's just a kid this it's not fair that she should have to do that and I'm completely down with that logic given his history that he is a father well that he was a father he's still a father that, that all of that I can absolutely believe that that is where he was coming from he just didn't like say that it was just no but now that like he's relaxing a little bit more and he's talking a little bit more to her and sort of um teaching her a little bit more I feel like yeah absolutely from the get set it was because he didn't want her to need to use it I still think she should be able to defend herself um but I also understand why he, he didn't I get it that makes sense I like that we saw more of him doing the mentoring in this episode like uh when they were at the camp and it was just it wasn't just an immediate no like it's been every other time so far he's now explaining why it's no it's why do you think it's going to be a no? Think about it first. He's teaching her, he's mentoring her, he's making sure she understands what's going on and the things that are happening around and all of that sort of stuff, which I really appreciate. So far, we haven't actually seen anybody on the road. We've seen people in, um, like, cities, and when we rocked up to this city, it was very obvious that there was going to be some sort of a trap. It sc practically screamed that when they, when they um, arrived. It was really nice to not be like a bawling mess this time because Joel once again lost people like we didn't have anything like that happen in this episode which is really nice and, and refreshing. I'm glad to know that not every single episode he's going to be losing more people in his life. We're going to have some nicer moments and I love the little moment at the end when they were going to sleep and they you know telling the jokes and um, and he's starting to laugh and stuff and that was that was just lovely. It was it was really Really, it was really nice. It was nice. Let me know what you thought about this episode. I, I honestly, I kind of liked it. I kind of liked that it. it was a little bit more lighthearted. We didn't have as much heaviness in this episode. It was nice banter and there was levity and there was jokes and we had mentoring and it was not as doom and gloom. Woe is me. I'm a bawling mess. The the moment with with the the. Brian that was like that was quite h harsh I get why everybody had to do what they did I do but yeah that was that was a very difficult scene um but a lot from a logical standpoint I it all absolutely made sense um but overall like as a whole the episode was pretty 
lighthearted for this for this world. So I, I kind of appreciate it. I like I like the the levity that we have. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you dislike this episode? Let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Consider subscribing if you aren't already. And hit that notification bell and select the all option so that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Much love to you and I'll see you next time. Bye.